Um, so they're free to do what they want, but they want you to be kind of bound to uh, whatever you're building. And then who knows down the line, you know, three or four months down the line, it's nothing. It goes nowhere. So for me in this dating season that I'm in, yes, I'm single, um, but single doesn't mean that I'm bound to anyone. It doesn't mean that um, I'm going on a thousand different dates, but it does mean that I'm allowing myself to um, get to know other people, that I'm open to experiencing other other people, other men, and I'm not going to cut that off for a potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up with that, though? Like, how, what? how selfish is that? Very. <laughs> it, but, okay, so help me understand. I don't, I personally feel like you should be selfish in the dating season. Now, of course, you have to give to whoever you're invested in. But this is it's just as much as an interview for you as it is for me. And to block myself off to say, hey, I'm, I'm seeing this person. Um, uh, I'm seeing this person. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know if he's really interested in me. So I'm just going to block off everyone else. I don't think that that's ideal for me, not in this season. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I heard some, there are some women that have took that route where they was like, mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to, uh, as they say, I'm going to let go of my roster and yeah. I'm going to try to talk to this one guy to get to know him or whatever. And then mm -hmm. in the end, they end up getting burned, right? Unfortunately. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Getting burned. We've all been there. <laughs> so, oh, so you got rid of the roster before? Oh, yeah, I got rid of the roster. A few times I got rid of the roster, you know, because I thought I was going to go somewhere and it didn't. But I personally, I do think though that over time, naturally, people will start to fall off as you begin to focus on someone who actually, you know, captures your interest, someone who's actually interested in you when the roles are, um, when it's reciprocated. So when the energy is reciprocated, everyone else tends to fall off and that's okay. That's, that's natural. Um, but I don't think that you need to start off with just dating one person and investing all of your time and putting all your eggs in one basket for mm -hmm. one person and then it not go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I feel that 100%. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you about when it comes to dating and because for a lot of men, right? A lot of men are selfish. That's, that's uh -huh. right. <laughs> a lot mm -hmm. of men are selfish. But yeah. when do you, like, how do you know when to start let, letting people go? Like, is, it, is there like a checklist? Okay, listen, listen, my my friends, my friends say I'm like the block queen and I really am. So I am the type of person where I feel like once I feel like I am chasing you, once I feel like the energy is not reciprocated, it's time for me to fall back. Now, I can have I'll have the conversation with you one time. One time I'll have the conversation like this is how I'm feeling. Is this how you feel? Uh, let's talk about it. After that one time, if it happens again, I'm assuming that you have someone else's, someone else has your interest and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. And then I may just block you or I may just say, Hey, go be great. But yeah, I, it just, it really depends. It depends on the situation. Um, it's definitely after a conversation, especially if I feel like there is potential in this person. I do want to have that conversation like, Hey, so-and-so, this is how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you may not be interested. Am I reading this right? Because maybe it's just me. You know, you have different backgrounds than I have. So maybe it's just me. Let me try to understand it. After we have that initial conversation, if it happens again and I don't feel valued, I don't feel like my presence is appreciated, I don't feel like you're making time for me like I would for you, then it's my cue to exit. And I'm completely okay with that. Right now, um, I've been through a lot and my single season is my season and I'm okay with being single. So for that reason, I'm not going to put myself in a situation where I feel like I have to um, coach somebody on how to be with me, where I have to force somebody to be with me because I love being with Jasmine. So I'm okay with that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's for real. How how about friendships? Like how long should yeah. this whole friendship thing be? Because here was my thing. I just want to ask you real quick, well, say to you real quick, because mm -hmm. if you're not familiar with my story, I, I married my wife and six months after meeting on Instagram. Oh, so sweet. Yeah. That is so sweet. <laughs> okay. So, you know, we, we dated long distance. It actually took like a year total. We married in six months, but we still lived apart mm -hmm. for, you know, the other six months until I relocated mm -hmm. to Texas. But 
people say that's that was fast and stuff because I you know I was married for 15 years, went through a divorce. But our friendship, we were cool, but I was like, I don't want to be your friend too long because if we just if it's just indicative of being a friend, then that's like if I talk to you on the phone or we talking on Skype yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah, this date was pretty cool. And I'm like, so I'm the friend now? <laughs> right. Like, what are your thoughts on the whole friendship thing? Do you think the friendship thing should like be years on end or should you just let people know up front what you're looking for? See, okay, so that's a really good question. And I do think it's dependent upon the person um, because our experiences shape our present. So you know, for some people, it is really important for them to feel a connection from a friendship level from someone before they enter into a relationship. And that's OK. For me, I'm more go with the flow. You know, I'm, I'm more YOLO. Listen, hey, I like you. You like me. Somebody lying if we not together by week three. You hear me? <laughs> so for me, I don't mind, you know, getting into a relationship with someone that I have a strong connection with. It's completely fine. Um, similar to you. My children's father and I, I have two daughters. Well, of course, you, you mentioned that. I have two daughters. They have the same father. We were together for 12 years. Um, we met on, this tells you how old I am. We met on MySpace, okay? So we met on MySpace. And after two weeks of talking and dating, we decided to get into a relationship. And that lasted for 12 years. Now, while that wasn't my person, per se, I did see how you could easily fall in love with somebody and develop a friendship even in the midst of growing in the relationship. So to me, it's like, I think you can do both. I think they can be done simultaneously, but not everyone thinks that way. And I can understand that perspective too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I guess it depends on a person too. Like you oh, say. for sure. Yeah. yeah, there was, I don't know if you've seen this video, but there's a video I, I, post, I posted on my Twitter. I think I've seen it on one of those social media outlets mm -hmm. where there was a lady who said she would rather be a mom than a wife. And she mm. would rather cater to a child than her husband. Did you see that video? No, no, I didn't see that. Okay. But mm. what what are your thoughts on that? Oh, I want to be all. I want to be all. I want to be uh, a great mother. I want to be a great wife. Uh, I want to be a great business owner. I want to be it all. I don't think that you need to just be one and not the other. I think that we are, women are designed to be able to manage and control and handle and manifest and produce. So for those reasons, we, we're able to multitask and we can do a really good job at it. So I, I am perfectly fine with doing all that. Now, some women, of course, just like her, it sounds like she chooses to be um, a wife instead of a mother. Is that what you said? She, she, right? wanted, she preferred the child over a husband. Oh, okay. She, okay. But that's the relationship she values. I think you can handle all of them. I think it's healthy to see a mother handling all of those relationships, vice versa for a man. I think it's healthy for children to see their father being a father and being a husband and being a leader and being, you know, all these other things, because that's what our life is. We manage different hats and that's what we have to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cause women can multitask. I, yeah, I, I see it every day. Yeah. I bet. I bet. <laughs> there's a, there's a book <laughs> called, I'm an avid book reader called um, Women Are Like Spaghetti and Men Are Like Waffles. Have you read that? No, I have not read that. Yeah. And he's just basically breaking down the each sex, how men compartmentalize things like waffles, mm -hmm. right? Like the little square. Mm -hmm. And women are like spaghetti. It's just a, a mixture of just everything all together, <laughs> you know? And uh, it helped me understand my wife. And I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah, we, we really on different levels out here. That is so sweet. I I'm excited to hear about your marriage. Like that is beautiful. That is really beautiful. Yeah, love it. So thank you, uh, the Brave Hearts community. Those who are the subscribers and stuff, they they know my story for the mm -hmm. most part. But I I ask myself, am I going to do this again after going through? Well, I was finalizing my divorce, and I was asking myself, do I even really want to go through this whole dating stuff again, or maybe I should just raise my daughter and just call it a day. Mm -hmm. And I'm scrolling on Instagram and I seen the picture and I was like, oh, let me check her out. Yes. Oh, let me check. And I, I just went through I was just looking at all her pictures. 
<laughs> and they were all just, you know, classy pictures or whatever. And I just kept liking her pictures. And, and granted, this was 2017. So I guess I'm kind of dating myself mm-hmm. to start liking. And then, and then I posted on Twitter our first conversation when I slid in her inbox. Uh-huh. So, you know, we just had this little conversation. I was like, hey, have you heard my podcast? You know, we just started talking. And next thing you know, here we are uh, oh. coming up on six years later. That is beautiful. Congratulations. Yeah. That is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks again for watching another segment of A Scary to Remarry. I have so much more amazing content and some phenomenal guests as well. People who've been through a divorce, people who remarried, people who desire to marry. So much great content. So make sure that you hit one of these videos. It's somewhere around here. But anyway, go watch another video.